Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. I just wanted to uh, get into a quick hit, uh, meditating on uh, a couple of thoughts after camp. And, uh, you know, the thought came to my mind. Um, you know, the elect, I want to title this video, the elect are going to be elated at the arrival of our Lord. Okay. And, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. When this place goes down, which is our hell, we're going to be rejoicing. Okay. So let me get this in Revelation chapter 18, verse 20. It says, rejoice over her, thou heaven. And ye holy apostles and prophets, for the Most High hath avenged you on her. Okay, so we are no longer going to be weeping and wailing and lamenting uh, at, uh, at the punishments that we're going through when America, when Babylon gets destroyed. Our job is going to be rejoice, rejoice, because there's no longer any cap, any uh, uh, any captor to basically uh, punish us and, and, and oversee our slavery. OK, and it's going to be a beautiful thing. Now, how does something like this going to be? Uh, is, how is something like this going going to come to pass? Well, it's going to have to be uh, by the Heavenly Father's intervention. OK, he's going to send his son down to overthrow this place, okay? Uh, let's see here. Hmm. I'm gonna read this. Um, this is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 45. It says, my people, Go ye out of the midst of her and deliver ye every man his soul from the fierce anger of Yahweh. Okay. And those who escape the fierce anger of Yahweh Bashim Yashai definitely are going to be happy because when they see when they see the destruction that's coming to this place, they will be the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yashai, Barakatai Yahweh Bashim Yashai for letting, for having mercy on me. Okay. Those are going to be the words of those men who receive that mercy okay because they're going to see uh they're going to see that destruction okay so next scripture i want to get is in the following chapter revelation chapter 19 okay let's start at verse one it says and after these things i heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying alleluia salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord of our power. I'm sorry, unto the Lord, our power. Okay, unto Yahweh. He's going to receive all the glory and the honor and the, and the, and, and, and the, uh, and the power. Okay. Why? It says, for true and righteous are his judgments because it's a righteous thing to recompense tribulation and destruction to those who cause it upon us, right? Let's prove that. For uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse... Verse six, seeing it as a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you and to you who are troubled rest with us when Yahweh, uh, I'm sorry, when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. OK, so that recompense is going to. Uh, 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 to be uh, followed out through Yahweh Shai. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read this again. Um, I'm going to start at verse 4. 
Okay, Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 4. It says, So that we ourselves glory in you, the churches of the Most High, for your patience and faith. Now, this is uh, uh, the epistle of Paul to the, to the Thessalonians now. Okay, to the church that was that was in Thessalonia, or sorry, uh, Thess Thessalonica. Now, he was writing of, uh, he was basically commending those who who continued in the faith and endured those persecutions that that were going on at that time, and those persecutions are going to come back. But it says, uh, for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure, which is which is a manifest token or a symbol of the righteous judgment of the most high that ye may be continued worthy of the kingdom of the most i'm sorry that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of the most high for which ye also suffer that's why we that's why we go out on the highways and byways and preach and teach that's why we take the load within the body you know that's why we humble ourselves before uh the most high and before and before um those who are uh, over us man okay that's why we uh, uh, stand in jeopardy like the scriptures say why stand stand we in jeopardy every hour well the reason why we why we put ourselves in jeopardy the reason why we sac uh, uh, give our bodies as a living sacrifice is so that we can so that we may win Yahweh shot okay verse six all right so this is continuing on on that note it says I'm sorry verse uh yeah verse six it says seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to uh, to them that trouble you and to you who are troubled rest with us. OK, rest with those who have been given a larger portion of the spirit. It says. Uh, when uh, when the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. That's when we will enter into the rest of Yahweh Shem Yahshai, when he is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, right? And that is when we will be rejoicing, because this that's the hour that we uh, so earnestly waited for. Okay. Yep. Yep, First Thessalonians four and sixteen. For, uh, for Yahweh Shai himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with a voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Yahweh Shai shall rise first. You know, that's a precept to that, and it's just going to, going up to what these Christians they call the the rapture, okay. But really, this is the salvation of Israel of the elect of Israel, okay, from the uh, thermonuclear missiles. From the famine and, and, and all those things that are going to be going on in the day that has never been since there was a nation. The day of tribulation, the day of darkness, gloominess, where there's no light. Okay. So that being said, let's continue back in Second Thessalonians chapter one, verse seven. It says, um, and to you who are troubled, rest with us when Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord, Yehoshai HaMashiach. Okay? So those who don't, uh, those who are disobedient, they will be punished. They will be reprimanded. Okay? But those who have been obedient to the will of Yehoshua HaShem Yahshai are going to rejoice. They will be happy. Because they're no longer going to have to be in slavery, in captivity. Those who have a... a a rulership mentality would prefer not to be ruled over. It's just simple. It's a simple equation. So, uh, Psalms chapter 58. Psalms chapter 58, verse 10. It says, The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance, when he seeth the reward of the wicked. Okay? That's when, that's when, uh, those those righteous men who've been in, endeavoring and enduring, when they see that reward, they will be uh, uh, rejoicing. Okay, they'll be very happy at that uh, at that moment. Okay.
All right. Continuing on in verse, um, let's see, verse, I'm going to read verse 10 again. All right. Psalms 58 and 10. It says, the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Okay. That links up with uh, uh, the book of Isaiah. What is that? Isaiah, Isaiah 63. I think that's Isaiah 63. Isaiah 63 and uh, 1. Who is that? Who is this that uh, cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bozrah? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of in strength. I that speaketh right, righteousness, mighty to save. Salvation is going gonna, is gonna to come through the falling of Edom, man. Okay? And we're going to rejoice at that, man. It says, Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy, and thy garments like him that treadeth the wine fat? Okay, blood is going to be on Yahushua's garments, man. Okay, spiritually, because of all of this, uh, let me just read it. Verse three, I have trodden the winepress alone and of the people. There was none. There was none with me, for I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments and I will stain all my raiment for the day of vengeance is in mine heart and the year of my redeemed is come. You see? The year of the redeemed of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai has come, man. You see? And there's none, uh, no other power that we can call on to save us, man. There was never a power. in the, the same power that delivered us out of Egypt is the same power that's going to deliver us out of this Egypt, man. You see? And so we're going to be, it's just going to be like deja vu. It's going to be, it's going to be like a reunion with the Lord because we're, we're going to be, we're going to, why do Yahweh Hashem Yahshai? You did it again, you know? That's ultimately what the, the sentiment is going to be. So let's continue back here. Psalms chapter 58, verse 11. I'm going to read. It says, so that a man shall say, verily is verily there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a power that judges the earth. OK, because these fucking boneheaded atheists, man. These are these other these other uh, philosophies. Are just they just don't excuse me they just don't add up okay but especially these atheists man okay you atheists and you scoffers really you scoffers too okay because the scoffers don't believe that the most high is going to judge they, they say that uh, he will not do good neither will he do evil okay but we pray we pray man for Yahweh Yah to bring judgment upon this place okay uh, 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 Shepatim judgments okay that's uh, in the Hebrew judgments okay uh last scripture i want to get the last couple of scriptures uh psalm chapter 50 all right i'm gonna start at verse one it says the mighty power even yahweh hath spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof out of zion the perfection of beauty the most high hath shined our power shall come and shall not keep silence a fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. What is that fire that's going to devour before him? That's going to be the chariot beams from the uh, 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 from the chariots, okay? The, the the vehicles of the Lord, the unidentified flying objects, the chariots of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai are going to uh, 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 evaporate, man, the Most High's enemies, all right? It says, verse uh, 3 again, it says, Our power shall come. And shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour, devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Okay, so the saints who are going to uh, take the kingdom according to the book of Daniel, they're going to be uh, uh, calling upon uh, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai in order to be uh, uh, delivered. Okay? It says, And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for Yahweh is judged himself. Selah. Okay? So Yahweh Hashem Yahshai is going to judge this place, man. Okay? And the, 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 there, there's not a knee 
that is not going to bow, there's not a tongue that is not going to confess that Yahweh Bashim Shai is the ultimate power of the universe, man. You see? And that's the day that we're waiting for because in that day, everything is going to be set in its right order. All right? So, hey, man, the elect will be elated at the, at the arrival of our Lord. And with that, Abarat Zayi brothers were edified. I'm going to say, call halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechach, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.